was time for the fourth and final round of the 2016 Nomadic EWXC series. And after a long break from the previous rounds, riders were eager for the finale and the end of year championship results. Documentation was open for riders to sign in and get themselves tagged and checked. Yeah, good morning, it's Roy. We, um, we are at Heidelberg this morning. It looks, looks like it's going to be a hot day. Um, riding Senior Pro. Um, we are three weeks away from the roof, so this is really just a check in to see how my uh, fitness is going. Hi, I'm Sean Lloyd. Um, riding bike number 60 today. Doing my first ever Enduro World EWXC. Looking forward to it. It's going to be a great day. Uh, I'm Ryan Parsons. I'm racing in the high school class today. I'm looking forward to it. There's 17 people in our class and I think it's going to be a good race. The riders were comprehensively briefed under the nomadic tent on what was to be expected for the day and then it was time to line up, get ready for the make or break round. <laughs> With Brett Swanepoel injured and out, all eyes would be on Dwayne O'Clanams, who would have to keep an eye on Vincent Lubbeskakny, Robert Garvey, and a host of fast high school riders who would be chasing him down. Dwayne had also switched over to the E2 class and set off on his brand new KTM 250 XCW, meaning that he was now out of the E1 championship hunt. Vincent Lubbeskakny had also moved up to the E2s and would follow closely behind on his YZ250X. Stevie Carr, left in a hurry to try and make up another great result in the Senior Pro category. Heidelberg is well known for being one of the toughest venues on the Nomadic EWXC series, so perfect lastminute.com roof training. Early in lap one, Clayton's had a comfortable lead from the pack, but Luke Walker blasted through that pack to chase the leader's dust, setting the fastest lap of the race on lap one. Vincent Labaskakny was still in the game, but Vian Lahani was putting the pressure on. Wayne Everton on the brother KTM was leading the Masters class despite a huge crash on the opening lap, which would later tell that it was a dislocated collarbone. Final lap, Dwayne Clanams had showed a clean pair of heels to the field, but Luke Walker had matched him today. Otto Horlacher here finishing on the podium position, and Luke Walker taking a well earned breather after a tough and demanding race. In the E1 class, Dirk Olivier, the newly crowned national silver champ, took a big victory, but in the E2s, that was where it was all going down. Clanams ahead of Labaskakny and Flemmer rock solid in the three spot. The rest of the categories. Stevie Carr, undisputed champion once again with another victory ahead of Berta and Sepek. And in the Masters, still carrying that injury from lap number one, but pulling a two and a half minute gap, Everton over Kirky and Horlocker. In the high school category, all about Luke Walker dominating ahead of Adriano Catalano and William Luxford. Race organizer Gary Franks briefed the riders for race two of the day before the big lineup. Quinton van der Bank would lead the pack with TD Monroe following closely. TD, a roost rider, he would know this track. had now passed Quinton and had a comfortable lead in the silver category. Yanaman Erasmus was making good progress in third, but wouldn't be able to catch this man on the triple four. That's Quinton van der Bank.
unfortunately one of our riders going down, Frana Alberts, requiring quick medical assistance. 911, we're on site. After a sighting lap for the green and junior classes, we were ready to go for race three of the day. These classes have seen promising growth this year and additional classes will be added for 2017, thanks to great support from all the parents. Donovan Labaskakny had a great day in the saddle and made the podium step. Back to race two and in the silver class, Barry Brown takes a wrong turn, causing him to lose valuable time. Brown would get back on track and get refocused. Brett Geary went on to take the win in the club class, followed by Andrew Paluta in second. Joshua Henderson coming in to take his win in the pro mini class. Let's take a look at the results, how they broke down. Silver, all about TD Monroe, the local guy ahead of Van der Bank and Erasmus. In the club category, the biggest entry on the day as well, Brett Geary walks away with a win ahead of Paluta and Whitehead. In the pro mini category, which also went out on the big track, Josh Henderson, Matty Henderson and Heinrich Aust. for your support in the 2016 season and we look forward to seeing you again for a bigger and better 2017 season of the Nomadic EWXC series. A huge thanks goes out to all of our generous sponsors for the 2016 season.